This video gives you an overview of the procedure for importing a process from version 5.9 of Bonita Open Solution into Bonita BPM 6.0. There are significant changes in version 6.0, so some elements of a process cannot be migrated to 6.0 automatically. The import procedure is a kind of guided migration, showing you which components have been migrated automatically, which have been migrated but must be checked, and which need to be migrated by hand. Let's see how it works. Before you begin, you need a bar file of your process exported from version 5.9. Now we'll import the bar file into 6.0. When the process is imported, it's put into a special import mode and you see a report. These status icons indicate the migration status of each element and this online help will remind you what the icons mean. This green icon shows that the migration was completed automatically. The yellow icon shows that migration was done automatically but the element needs to be checked and possibly modified. The red icon shows that no automatic migration was possible so you need to migrate these elements manually. When you click on a row in the report, you see some information about how the element was migrated or what needs to be reviewed or updated. You can use the migration report to manage the verification and migration tasks. You can sort the report by one of the columns. I'm going to sort by status so I can see how many yellow or red items there are for me to look at. You can also show or hide the valid changes. I'm going to hide the changes so I just have a list of the items that I need to pay attention to. When you've finished migrating or reviewing an element, you can check the last column to keep track of what you've done. You can hide the checked items so you see only the remaining items that need to be reviewed or migrated. You can also export the migration report as a PDF file which you can keep. When migration is complete, click the Exit Import Mode button. Be careful with this because once you exit from Import Mode, you can't go back and the migration report is no longer available. While you stay in Import Mode for a process, you can exit from Bonita Studio and when you log back in, the process is still in import mode and the migration report is still available. In the rest of this video, we'll look at some examples of elements that need to be reviewed and elements that need to be migrated by hand. Now let's look at some examples of elements that need to be checked. Remember that Bonita Studio has done a best effort migration based on what's usually correct. In many cases, you need just to confirm that the migration is, is correct and complete. But sometimes you'll need to make some adjustments. The process I'm going to show you is for managing approvals for leave requests. It's still in development, but it's almost complete. My goal, first of all, is to get the process running in 6.0, even if that means taking a few shortcuts or temporarily removing a feature that was in the 5.9 version of the process. Once the process is running in 6.0, I can put back any features I removed during migration. So first, let's look at the leave request form, this item in the uh, migration report. The description in the migration report says that the display label has been replaced by an expression. So let's take a look at the expression. I need to go to the requester pool application tab and open the form for editing. Now I open the expression editor to see how this label is defined. I can see that this expression is creating a, a personalized greeting when the form is displayed to the user. So 
In fact, I'm going to take a shortcut to migrate this quickly and remove the personalization. So instead of uh, setting this up as a script, I can use a constant. So here I can remove all of the script that's no longer being used and just leave the text I want to display. And now I'll check the box to show that I've reviewed this element. Next we'll have a look at the variable called type. The report says that the default value of the data has been converted to an expression. So let's go back and look at the data that's defined for this process. So I find type in the list of variables and open it for editing. And I can see that the expression for the default value just says paid vacation. I could convert this to be a constant, but it works fine as a script, so I'm going to leave it alone. So I cancel the expression editor, and I check the item as reviewed. In the next portion of this video, we'll look at some examples that need to be migrated by hand. Now let's look at some examples of elements that need to be migrated by hand. Typically anything to do with connectors or actors will need to be migrated by hand. You might also need to change some variable definitions. First, I'll go to the list of items that need to be migrated manually. This process has two connectors which are used to notify someone that there's a task to do. Both of them have been removed during the migration. I could configure new connectors to replace the ones that have been removed, but for my local testing, I don't need them. So for now, I choose to do nothing. I'm just going to mark these elements as reviewed and then add comments to the diagram to remind me to add the connectors back later. So first I mark the two items as reviewed. Now I go to my diagram and add comments. There's one, and there's the next. Now let's look at actors. In this process, uh, there are three actors. And the way actors are used in version 6 is very different from version 5.9. In the 5.9 version of the process, an actor selector was used. The actor selectors have been replaced in 6.0 by a much more flexible system of actor mapping and actor filtering. So I need to configure the actors again for the process. There are three actors in this process. The initiator, who requests leave, the manager, and HR. So I'm going to add new definitions for these three actors. So first of all, I need to select the process pool, and I go to the actors tab in the details list and add my three actors. So first of all, the initiator, who I set as the initiator. This means that anybody who wants to request leave can start a new case of the process. Next, I add the manager. Then I add HR. For the manager actor, there's an extra step that I'm going to take to take advantage of a feature in 6.0. We can use an actor filter to create the relationship between the initiator and the manager so that the process automatically routes the request for approval to the manager of the requester. So I go to the manager lane in my process 
I select the manager actor. And I choose the actor filter from the list of process actor filters. So initiate a manager. And I give this a name. So Questor Manager. So now we've migrated the actor elements, so I'll check them off in the migration report. When you've looked at all of the items that need to be checked or updated, you can move the process out of import mode. In fact, you can leave import mode at any time, but you cannot get back in Import mode is a one-time state for a process. So before you leave import mode, it's a good idea to save a copy of the migration report. To do this, go to the import menu and choose export as PDF. This is what the report looks like. You can see a list of all of the elements and a description of the action that was taken during migration. You can also see the status of each item and whether or not you've reviewed it. So when you're sure that you're ready to leave import mode, click the export, exit import mode button here. The process is now in normal mode. You can continue to develop and test it until it's ready for deployment. <laughs>